Matthew Peterson, trainer here at Pragmatic Works. Welcome to our YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you like and subscribe. And what I want to bring to you today in this video is model-driven applications, how you can quickly see all the records that are attached to one of your parent records. Now, there's already kind of set up for you in one way. Like if I click on this vehicle right here and I go, you know what, I want to see all the vehicle maintenance requests here. I can hit this related, click vehicle maintenance and I see it but there's a much better way to do this and even a way to quickly create a new maintenance request right from this vehicle table. So stay tuned to see how we can get this accomplished using subgrids. So let's see how we can make this a little bit better using what a, a control that is called subgrids inside of your model driven applications. So again, the idea here is I've got these vehicles, I'm doing maintenance to keep track of all these things. I actually do this for my vehicles that I have at, at my house. And I want to quickly be able to come into a vehicle and look at all of the maintenance requests that are associated with it, which is fine. I have this nice little associated view but I wanna make this a little bit better and a more uh, unique feel to it. So here's what we can do. I'm gonna go back over to this table that I have in my solution. I'm gonna to go to my vehicle table. Now in my vehicle table, I'm gonna head on over to the form section. And I'm gonna to go to my, my main form here. And what I wanna add in here is when we go to look at these records, instead of this related dropdown, which is pretty cool, I wanna add in a cooler control. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a component. I'm gonna add in this nice little one column tab. And I'm gonna give my tab a new name here. And I'm just gonna call it um, all maintenance records, like so. So all maintenance records that I have right here. So now inside of this, what I wanna put in is a control called a subgrid. And what a subgrid allows you to do is it allows you to see related records from another table, or you can see all the records from another table if that's your choosing. But typically, we only wanna see those related records. So watch how easy this is. So I'm gonna choose subgrid, and then I'm gonna choose, okay, I want to go, I'm on my parent record, which is the vehicle, I wanna see all the related maintenance requests from there. So I'm first gonna check right here to my show related records. Once I click show related records, I then choose, well, what table do I want to do this to? And these are the ones that I currently have relationships with. And so mine is going to be on my vehicle maintenance table. So I'm currently on the vehicle table. I want to see the related records from the vehicle maintenance. And then I choose what view do I want to see. And right now I'm just going to choose that active view right here. So once I hit done, this is going to add it in here for me. We'll give it a second. And then I'm going to hit save and I'm gonna publish and we're gonna go back out to my application with this new modification and see what this is now going to allow me to do. So I'm gonna hit publish here. And once I hit publish, and again, the, the control looks like it didn't show up here. Every once in a while, it won't show up. If you click back and come back into it, it's a little bit of a bug. But once I go and play the application, we'll see it here in a second. So I'm gonna refresh this and in a second, Notice here, here's my all maintenance records tab that I just created. And so again, on my vehicles, I have two separate vehicles, my Volvo XC90, my Buick Verano. I have all these different maintenances. I have two maintenances for this XC90 and two for the Verano. But watch this now. This is what I like about subgrids. When I click on vehicles and I go into my XC90 here, if I click on my all maintenance records, notice this nice little subgrid. This is now bringing me all the maintenance records that were attached to my Volvo XC90. And this is a view and I just chose to use my active view and it's now displaying this view here for me. Now, what can I do with this view? Well, there's a few things. One is I could, I could change the uh, design of this. So I'm gonna come back to my information form. Uh, I'm gonna click back to get out of it. I'm gonna go back inside of it. And this time when it reloads, it should have that separate control in here that I can make some modifications to. And as you can see right here, I can now do that. So the first thing I would do is I'm gonna select this new section up here and I'll do something like uh, maintenance, or I wouldn't even have to put anything in here if I don't want to. So I'll put maintenance on there, it changes. I'll then click on the control itself 
and maybe I don't want to see that new SG control up here at the top, so I can hide that label. And then over here, this is where I can choose the default views that I have inside of this subgrid control. Uh, it's telling me what table it's hooked into. Do If I use any charting, do I want my users to be able to change the chart? So all of these things, I can make some modifications here, but those are the only ones I want right now. So I'm gonna hit publish, and I'm gonna come back to our model-driven application once it publishes, and I'm gonna refresh, and here's one of the great things I like about this. So I'm gonna refresh this. So now I see um, over here on my all maintenance records, I see my record, so now I can easily get from one to the next. So if I wanna go look at this maintenance record, maybe I need to make a modification, I can click on it, it takes me to vehicle maintenances and I can make whatever modifications here. So instead of $98, I'll say it was $54.32. So now when I come back, we can see that that change will now be made once I go back into my vehicle of my XC90 and all maintenance records. So the next thing, and there's that 5432 number that's changed, but here's what's also great about this. From the subgrid, if I'm on my Volvo XC90 and I'm like, hey, I need to put in a new maintenance, I don't have to come back over here and click on vehicle maintenances. Instead, I can do it directly from my subgrid. So I can click add new vehicle maintenance. It takes me directly here. I could come in here, put in a random vendor. So we'll go with the ski house, pick a random date, uh, 54368, whatever the case might be, $21.32. Uh, looking good and then I hit save and close and notice it's added right back here into the subgrid control I like this better than the related drop down and just saying let me see all the vehicle maintenance is attached to it this is a predefined associated view that comes with your dataverse tables which we could go and modify ourselves but my users might not know to hit the related drop down to get to a related table. That's why I like to put a one column tab up here to put it right there so my users don't even have to think about it. So that is a really easy control that you can add in into your model driven applications. I like to use it. I think it's got great ease of use and flexibility. So if it's something you didn't know about, hopefully you can add these into your own MDAs. If you like this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe. And if there's anything we can do at Pragmatic Works to help you with any of your business needs, please let us know. All of our contact information is in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed. If that's the case, I'll see you in the next one.